What is going on YouTube? It is Cameron from Cameron's Aquatics, and as you can see, and probably here, I now have a new mic type thingy, and a brand new, not brand new, but a re-aquascape, completely re-overhauled tank. Um, as for the audio, I'm currently using a, uh, a headset that I would normally use for my PS3, but I'm actually using it to talk. And I just found this out, and it actually sounds pretty good. So tell me how you guys like it. And uh, as for the tank, as you can see, the 20 gallon high, I believe. Yeah. Um, as you can see, brand new everything. Not brand new, but basically, I overhauled this tank and my 46 gallon bow front, which I will get to in a minute. I uh, I completely overhauled those two tanks. And I switched almost everything out of the 46 gallon bow front into this tank. So as you can see that big piece of driftwood that was in the 46 gallon bow front is now in here in the middle. Which I, I kind of like it but it goes against most aquascaping rules. But uh, I think it looks good. And then we also have the fake fake plants over here. I, uh, I might need to go buy another one to fill in this little area back there. But uh, we'll see. Um... And so yeah, this is completely fake, basically, and I may be adding live plants in the future, but I'm still unsure. I might, if I get a better light, I might have a carpet of dwarf baby tears or just some Sagittaria, Sagittarius, I, I forgot what it's called. Uh, some dwarf Sag, basically, um, Amazon swords, jungle vow, stuff like that, general, easy to take care of plants. Um, and so yeah, basically, the only thing that I have in this tank currently are these these neon tetras. You can't really see them, but uh, I have about eight of them, and I just got them from PetSmart. They were having a sale; they're only one dollar. So I figured, why not? And uh, yeah, FYI, I do not advise getting fish from PetSmart. That is not a smart idea. They they are not good. So don't get fish from PetSmart. So um, yeah, this is the tank. Uh, heater, filter, a pump back there, I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, we're running about 78 degrees right now, I believe. And uh, plans for this tank? I plan to get live plants. Maybe, as I said before, maybe, big maybe, because I'm kind of short on money as of right now. Um, definitely going to get some more Neon Tetras or some, some Angelfish, maybe. And some Cory Cats, most likely, for this my bad guys, my phone just died. Um, so as I was saying, live plants, new fish, all that stuff with this tank. So big plans for this tank. Me personally, I like how it's looking right now. Um, so now we just need to get some fish. And this is the first time in a long time that I've actually been satisfied with how a tank looks. And now I'm actually just going to buy some fish and not spend all my money on equipment or new lights or stuff like that. So now I'm going to take you over to the 46 gallon bow front. And we're gonna see what's going on over there. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, that background, it's so black. Ah, blah blah blah. I know, I know. And it doesn't look good with the white white sand. So yeah, I know, trust me. Um this tank, I need to do more work on it. As you can probably tell by the light up there, that is an Odyssey T5 high output light four bulb fixture I believe it's a 20 inch fixture uh, I'm pretty sure this tank is 36 inches so uh, I need to get a new light um, need to get some more filter floss as you can see the water is a little bit cloudy um, rocks on this side not meant for a African cichlid scape there is no caves no places for refuge as you can see that is just thrown in there I need to get something over on that side um, plans for this tank though, plan to get a better light, plan to get a lot of live plants, I plan to turn this tank into a live plant tank, depending upon if my local fish store will accept the, uh, the OB Peacock that you can see there, and the yellow lab that this OB Peacock will soon kill, um, the yellow lab is just shaking back there scared shitless of this fish because he is just really big and uh so yeah it's basically all just gonna depend on what my f local fish store can offer me as for like a trade-in type thing so 
I may go to an African cichlid tank, but if they offer me a low price, I'm probably just going to go to a planet tank. Um, as of right now, the rocks are set up for a planet tank, so just jungle vow in the back. Hopefully some Tiger Lotus, let like, your weapons, the whole deal, you know. Um, so yeah, this tank, big plans. Doesn't look good right now, but trust me, I am going to be working on this tank a lot. And it's an eyesore because it's directly in the front of my room. So uh, I need to, need to get working on this tank. So if you guys like what you see, you could like, comment, or subscribe below. And uh, that's all for me. So I will see you guys later. Peace.